Welcome to my sewing room. I'm so dizzy now. <laughs> Last year when I opened the YouTube channel and um, because I was using the sewing room a lot more, I decided to transform it into a much more usable space with the help of my husband, of course, <laughs> because these were heavy. <laughs> And it is divided in three areas. A little office, the cutting board, not cutting board, the cutting table and the sewing machine area. It's a very big space, I can't really complain, but the only problem it has is that I only have two walls, those two. These coral ones are little walls that overlook a spacious area, like a sort of barbecue entertainment area we have. You can see I like coral. And that's why it needs to be really organized because the only organizing area is the cutting table bit. That's where everything goes. This first area here is the office. Before my transformation, I had one of these covers on that wall. And when we make the cutting table, we bought another one. So we could mount the two pine boards on top. And once we did that, I bought a clothing rack and I had it here for a while. I really liked it. It wasn't very useful for me because I didn't hang a lot there. I used to hang dresses when I finished them. And I remember I did my uh, things I've made before YouTube video with that but the rest I didn't use it, so we put it in another place of the house where it's getting a lot of use. Much better. And after we did that, we brought this shelving unit from my mom's house where it wasn't getting any use and I'm using it a lot now. I have all my art books and sewing stuff and things and it is really nice. And this is the little desk where I prepare videos and mm, just mm, do silly stuff. And in these drawers I have all the papers for the pattern making and all that because this is where Maria Antonia lives. It's useful to have it there. Apart from a few things to get ready to record. Also on this side of the cutting table, on the office little bit, I have a mirror in which I have a look to the things I'm trying on. And I also have this beautiful antique, it belonged to my great grandmother's and it's a vintage sewing machine. I would like to have a go at it one day, but it's really difficult to synchronize your foot, isn't it? It's a bit complicated. And the cutting table. I love, I'm so in love with my cutting table. It's so useful. I don't know why I didn't do it before and I'm so glad we did. It's mounted on top of two um, IKEA mom cabinets, not cabinets, covers. And we put these uh, little legs to support the boards, not only because uh, you need it a bit higher so you're not um, uh, aching all the time, but because if not, I wouldn't have been able to open the first drawers comfortably. And this little bar area is ideal to come and draw and prepare videos or just think. And I added these two stools I bought on Marketplace. They were a bit difficult to repair, but they were really good. Nice video, check it out. In this first cover, I have all the craft stuff I don't use that much, all the felt and things for painting and cross stitch. And even though Marie Antoinette lives here, she's really good. She doesn't bother. Uh, I can open the drawers quite well. And on this side, I have all my fabrics. 
and on the little space between the cover and the board I have on this side a tripods and lights. And against the wall I have this uh, old CD rack uh, or CD shelf. It wasn't getting any use and um, my mother-in-law brought it for me to see if I, have, um, if I had any idea of what to do with it and it was there for a long time <laughs> but uh, one day when I saw how untidy and cluttered this corner was I thought oh this is going to be good it was sort of a pine color and I wrapped it in a black vinyl and I'm quite happy with it because it keeps everything tidy and everything there and I have the rule that nothing can be off of the shelf apart from this book this notebook where I take notes uh, while I'm doing everything I have my vintage borders from my grandmother I have pattern books and in the middle so I can get it from both sides I have scissors and pins and then my pattern weights that I made and more books And this is the sewing area. And on this side of the cutting table, I have everything related to the sewing machine. All the spools and ribbons and things like that. I have loads because my grandma used to have like a little shop not a habitashi, one of these shops that had everything years ago and everything that was left from the shop uh, she kept and I brought it here I don't complain, I'm not complaining at all and on top of the cover underneath the board I have little things as well related to the sewing machine little bobbins and spools and things like that This chair was also given to me and I painted it and upholstered it. And I have a cushion my other grandmother crocheted for me. And on this little shelf, it's not very useful but it is nice. I have little things, memories and boxes with stuff. And of course it is nice because it's, it has a ladder shape and it has a plant. And this is the sewing table. Uh, you can see two sewing machines, but they are basically the same. That one is the singer I used to sew with, and it's not sewing as well. It's a bit, it's breaking the threads and things like that. And I think it's just because I've cleaned it and do everything, but I think it's because it's not made for as much use maybe only a few mending things and that's it uh, but not as much as I have used it lately and this is an alpha I've been using for a few days and a few projects and I'm quite happy with it I had it at my mom's house and uh, I think it sews really well quite stable and um, I don't know it, it's nice makes you confident does that make any sense? And that corner over there, it's, it's not a mess, but it is a bit mm, cluttered. I have two baskets, one of them has uh, fabrics I'm not going to use, pieces of material that I want to give to someone, I have to look for someone to give it to. And then the big one has fabrics that can't be folded, like leathers and things like that, thicker fabrics that I have uh, rolled over there so they're okay
So this is my sewing room tour for this year. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you like it, I'm really proud of it and I really appreciate having this space and uh, if you want you can keep having a look to other videos the office, the haberdashery hall, the tools I made, the chair there's a lot of things to do or the coral dress as well and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything next week bye